rejections that is how my entire gmail inbox looked like while i was going through my job cycle so just to give you guys a bit of backstory so i interned at facebook but i did not get my return offer so like the appreciative friends that i had they told me that boy you had interned at facebook and now you're going to be drowning in job applications and acceptances but boy they were wrong because i was drowning in rejections and that was it so after i had gotten this rejection of not getting a return offer from facebook i could have become another jeffrey who had this bad mindset who felt rejected and wasn't ready to move on but i decided to become an adonis shout out to my boy hamza before we start with the video i've noticed that a lot of you guys are unsubscribed to my channel so please subscribe so the first thing that I did after I had gotten rejected from my return offer was that I ditched lead code because for my internships I had spent a lot of time doing questions on lead code but now I decided that I want to buy algoexpert.io because I wanted a girlfriend I use algoexpert.io to prepare for my coding interviews the number is 55 Buying Algo Expert was a great decision that I made and this is covered in another video where I have shown that by doing just over 100 questions I was able to get into Google and I think that the main reason why is because I was focusing more on quality rather than quantity. I think that lead code has created this false sense of urgency and a very toxic community where they're encouraging you to do more questions. Lead coding. No time for showers, no time for breakfast. And people are saying that they want to do thousands, millions of questions before they're going to land their dream job. And no, this is not true. You don't need to do that many questions. The next thing that I did, which was a big Adonis move, was that I really convinced myself out of this bad mindset that I'm not prepared for giving interviews. And this mindset is super toxic because I've seen people who have done 100 questions, who have done 150 questions, and they still feel that they're unprepared and they don't apply to companies. I want you to apply to companies as early as possible because when you're going to get those interviews you're going to gain real life experiences a lot of the bigger tech companies they're going to process your application in a lot of time because when i applied google took about two months to get back to me for my first interview a lot of smaller companies are going to give you quick interviews they're going to become your practice interviews so even if you're failing these interviews you're going to gain a lot of real life experience but then again i would like to say that don't be a jeffrey and don't apply late to bigger tech companies because in a lot of cases the bigger tech companies will take a lot of time to process your application you're probably going to get your interview in months and you would already have gained experience from those smaller interviews which would make you feel more prepared the earlier you apply the more chances you have because going forward more seats are filled and there are less seats left and you're going to be up against more competition which will lessen your odds now i've repeated this a hundred times in several of my videos that you should beg for referrals on linkedin start begging Ask for referrals and don't apply without it. This was a big key for me that I applied with a referral for every company. I used to make a single message and then I would copy paste it to about 30 people in the same company. Now I want you to know that there's a money incentive for the employees to give you a referral because if you're hired, they're gonna get a bonus. I don't want any silly excuses of why you're not getting a referral of how you don't know people in the company. Just get out there and try to reach out to people and you will see how many people are willing to give you a referral. Go out there. Go. So I applied to Google about two days after their position opened for their new grad software engineering. And then I had to wait about 1.5 months before they reached back to me for their coding challenge. And in between, I was able to do a hundred algo expert questions, which made me feel prepared. I was able to interview at 30 companies, which included a lot of startups. I was interviewing at a lot of startups. So that meant that I was more prepared for a real life interview. Another thing that helped me a lot before my Google interview was that I convinced myself that this is going to be just a learning experience for me it's not a do or die situation i wanted to treat it more like a conversation that i'm going to have with five of the engineers out there and this really helped me to calm down my nerves and i really felt better during the interview because i didn't feel this pressure of a do or die situation i think that the more pressure you're going to take on yourself the worse you're going to perform in the interview so the first step for me was a coding challenge which included two questions which were to be done in 60 minutes and i failed to do both of them I'm not lying, I failed to do both of them and I really don't know why I got called to the next round. I'm assuming that my Facebook internship had to do something with it, so I guess my friends were right. 
So there was no technical screening in between. I went directly onto the on-sites, which were five virtual rounds, one googliness round and four technical rounds. So I scheduled the first interview for a 10 a.m. morning interview and I woke up at 9.50 a.m. and it was pretty chaotic. I rushed into the bathroom, I got ready. I was in a bad mood and I just got onto the interview. And the first round was the googliness round. And I think that it went pretty well. The questions were pretty generic, but you need to do research on Google's work principles and the answers need to be tailored according to their googliness perks. I would say because that would help them to understand of how you would fit into their culture. So I had to give four technical interviews. One was about graphs, one about DP, one about JavaScript, and one was about binary trees. And I did pretty bad in DP because it is DP. I did pretty bad on binary trees, which was pretty unexpected because I think I choked a bit during the round. I did really well on the graph section and the JavaScript section. And now I think the make or break for me was the JavaScript round because I didn't really expect it. But when I got it, I got really happy because you know, I'm more experienced in front end development. I had given a lot of front end interviews. So I was experienced in giving interviews in JavaScript and that was my round to shine. I think that I really impressed the interviewer because I was able to answer the question and I was also able to answer all of the follow-up questions and there were actually several follow-up questions that they asked. So I think that that round made it for me and it got me my job at Google. So lastly afterwards they told me that I had made it to the team matching round and this was a very stressing phase for me because I had an Amazon competing offer deadline and they actually gave me my decision that I had been matched to a team just three hours before the deadline and I was panicking at that point of what to do with my Amazon offer. Should I accept it? Should I reject it? I had no idea and then I got a call from my recruiter just three hours before the deadline and the recruiter didn't even signal to me of what the decision was that made me panic even more that was probably the most panicky call that I've ever taken and then finally the recruiter said that you have had a successful team match and I was like relieved at that point but boy that was a pretty panicky situation for me but I'm really glad that things worked out in the end and I hope that this video allowed you to gain some insights into how you could also crack your dream company and please like this video and subscribe to my channel and see you guys in the next video.